Spending the night out during a storm shouldn't mean a death sentence for you. No, it shouldn't. You just gotta follow some simple rules. Now when we think about being outside in a storm, we normally think bad time, right? Because we wanna go out when it's nice so we can actually enjoy things, but things happen and sometimes you get stuck in bad weather. And in those instances, it's very important you take a couple things into consideration. Um, they are called the five W's. Now this video is not about the five W's. I know I did it before, so don't click off. It's about one of the five W's called Widowmakers. Now, if you don't know what the five W's are, I am gonna just recap them quick. We wanna make sure we're blocking ourselves from the wind. We wanna make sure we're not in an area where water can run through camp and that we're close to a water source. We wanna make sure there's ample wood available. We also wanna know what wildlife is in the area and do we need to take precautions with that. There are the four, but the fifth one we call Widowmaker. That means it's something that can kill you, normally a falling tree. And this is where people go wrong with this W. When they think about Widowmakers, they just look around, is there a dead tree that can possibly fall? Is it cracked? Is it maybe leaning above them? If not, they go about their day. Many times, trees might be dead up top or starting to get washed away down near the roots, and we don't take that into consideration. And that, my friends, is something that I have noticed over the years at our school property and just spending a lot of time in the woods, is that falling trees, yes, can be super, super dangerous, but the falling branches can mess you up just as much. Let's take a quick look at some things. Okay, so right in front of me, we have you just looking at like, hey, well, Dan's just pointing sticks out, but bear with me here. The trees on both sides, we have a dead ash, which if you look at the tree, yes, it's dead, but I would never think that thing's immediately gonna fall. It hasn't fallen. But if you look up, all the branches are ready to go at any second. The maple tree behind me, also lots of dead branches up top for some reason. So we need to take that into consideration. But when we look at these branches, okay, although you think, oh, they're just laying there, this whole section here, here and here all fell at once and smashed apart on the ground. These are big, heavy pieces of wood. They fell from an extremely high vantage point, okay? Clunking you down on the head would not be a good option for these, okay? Um, so this is the type of thing that you need, for, need to think about when we talk about Widowmakers. And just to carry on this process, I mean, there's one here, we got one here, down we got one here and and it's littered this whole area all right off the camera screen is totally littered with wood but there's something else I see not often but when I see it it really ugh, gets to me and that's right here what I call a torpedo stick these are branches that have fallen and act like torpedoes they drive directly down in the ground like a spear these things drive down in the ground this is one example I'm gonna show you another crazy one So think about this, this stick drove down into that ground about six to eight inches. Imagine if that hit your body while you were sleeping, what that's gonna do. Even if it doesn't damage you, it's seriously gonna damage your shelter. And probably even more crazy is this. This is not a tree. This is a limb that broke off and drove down into the ground. So I'll get the camera and look how much this one drove down inside. All right, so again, we're looking at about the same um, depth here, maybe a little bit less, but this thing is pretty serious, all right? Really stiff points down in here. It really crushed down into the ground. So it's something that you wanna think about and you don't want that falling on your neck. And it always amazes me when I'm out and about and I see this happen with branches droven down into the ground. The worst I've ever seen was uh, one that looked similar to that last example that I showed, but it was about three foot down into the ground. Absolutely devastating. So you don't want to be under them things. But um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. A little safety, safety Stanley here, but um, we'll get the job done so you can get out in the woods yet again. Check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. Until next video, stay in the woods and be safe.